Okay, we're on another mission. So me and Waz are looking at this. This is the old Olstead boiler. It's um there's an Olstead Buckingham 260 BF. And basically we're not getting no pilot light. You can see it's underneath the work top, a bit tight for us, but we can get in there. So we're gonna inspect to see why the part that's not working and we'll see what's going on. Right, Was I want to, you to point out a couple of parts for me if you know what they are. Okay. So, what's this? It's got a gas valve coming into it. So what is gas it? Gas valve. Gas valve, yeah. What do you think this is here? Copper wire here. Something to do with pressure? No, it's a thermocouple. Oh, yes, because when it's ignited, it opens up the, the once it's, um, once it's heated up, it'll open up the valve. You don't open up the valve. It keeps it open, sorry. No, it creates a voltage. So when the flame burns on the end of the tip of it, it creates a voltage, it goes up here, into the gas valve solenoid here. This is the pilot solenoid. That then keeps the solenoid open. Yes. So what you do, you press your finger down like that, um, and then you light the, the igniter, like that, then the part light stays should stay on. You keep your finger down for yep. 30 seconds. Yep. Once it's it, got it gives it time then to create the voltage. Once the voltage is created, when you let go, then the voltage should be there and keep the valve open. And then let the gas out to keep the pilot light going. So it's like a vicious circle. So if the pilot light goes off. It is no voltage. No voltage, and then it shuts off the solenoid. And that's called a flame failure device. Yeah, so that's how it works. That's what we call it. So I'll just put that in your little notebook. So this is the balanced fluid appliance. There's the details there and the data plate. So anyway, we're going to investigate to see what's going on. Why are we not getting no pilot light lit? So let's get this further couple. I think we're going to have to take this section out here. We're going to turn the gas off here, but the gas cock screws at the back of this on the other side. So you're going to turn it off. Then we're going to undo this nut. Here was look. Yep. We're going to do that. Yep. Once we shut that off, undo this. And once we undo that, then we're going to have to undo these bolts. Okay. Looks like they're either eight mil bolts and nuts four of them and then it's connected with this wire here there I think we'll leave it connected because we'll be able to swing it round yeah. and work on it and then change the firm and then put it back okay so that's your mission question time yeah how are you getting on with this job and how do you feel the bits you're learning this this is new for you so what are you saying about regarding what you're seeing now? Well, first of all, this is my first ever floor standing boiler. Secondly, it's ancient and all the nuts and, nuts and bolts are really a struggle to get off. The thing is, you don't actually think about that. It's put, I know, in hindsight, it's lot, it makes a lot, lot of logic, but... All right. So we're taking it out, you can see. Now this is the um, thermocouple there, what we need to get on. So we're going to disconnect it from the bottom, round to the gas valve here, and put a new thermocouple in. So this is better for you to see what we're talking about. Right, we're going to undo that nut there. And I said this will go right through to here. Yeah, so that's what you're gonna disconnect. So, guy, what do you think about this then? What are you doing? Um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Like I said, I've never, never seen this before, never come across this before. But the way we've over, we're overcoming this is just through guidance, through what our 
going back to basics, what we learn in classroom, and uh, applying our knowledge, and hopefully we're going to get this sorted. We are definitely going to get it sorted. Yes, we're okay. definitely going to get this sorted, 100%. Okay, so just think back from where you come from to what you're doing. Brilliant. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this is all brand new to me. I was in a completely different field um, for about the last 14, 15 years. I was in broadcast and uh, I thought, why not? Change of career. And uh, I'm, I'm enjoying every single bit of it so far. Like I did my ACS sort of beginning of the year and uh, then I came across um, through a friend actually who showed me the A&R um, website then um, yeah I've made the move and I think do you know what I don't think anyone should look back once you made a decision and I haven't I'm not every day has been a learning progress every single thing is is brand new to me and every single thing will help me for my future that's it so it's from acs to your own business yep that's it that's like i was saying you know i was doing a lot of shift work i was doing weekends nights and this would give me time to manage myself you know work around what i need to you know um and then you know a and I also give you the guidance of running your own business, and this is what I'm here for. Yeah, exactly. And like I said, I'm grabbing the opportunity with both hands. It's it, it's been hard work. There's a lot to take in. You know, I've been rattling my brains, but it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. You know, I mean, like like I said, about nine ten months ago, I was sitting on my chair tapping on a keyboard, and now I'm crashed down on my knees. But I love it, absolutely love it. But at the end of the day, do you know what? There's this nice old lady who's going to be really happy that we've actually sorted it out and she'll be warm tonight. So the kind of satisfaction of that, it makes you sort of want to succeed also. Yeah, excellent. Cool. This is a universal thermocouple what we're going to use here. So we can use this for different boilers. Now, the one what we're using is for a Honeywell pilot burner. And for the Honeywell, you're going to use this knot here. But it's got the finer thread. The other one, it's got a coarser thread. See it? That's for the sick gas mm -hmm. valve. The one we're using is for a Honeywell gas valve. Yep. So we want that one. We also want these two as well. Right, uncoil that, straighten it out. All new stuff to this, eh? Everything, everything. Okay, that's it. Right, what are you going to do now? We'll show you what we're going to do. Well, not you people watching, you can't watch. So we're just fitting in the thermal cup into the pilot burner now. You're getting a proper pilot engineer now, aren't you? Eh? <laughs> oh, mate. You're doing well. Thanks, man. Let's put it back now. Difficult to see. Just put some gas paste around the pilot thread. We'll clean out the pilot as well. That should be enough now. Right on this job, we didn't actually finish it because there's a block pilot light, well there's pilot jet, sorry, is blocked. So we're going to have to come back and do this job again. So that's going to be the end of this video. I'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.